What's going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today, we're going to talk to you about Faraday Future. I just want to have a casual conversation with you guys about the current data points, but more specifically, though, why 50 cents is important. A lot of people are pointing out that 50 cents and blah, blah, blah. I want to go over the true reason why 50 cents is important and why it's not. So I'm going to go over all the things that you need to know. But first, make sure to hit that thumbs up. And with that, let's get right to it. So the market just closed five minutes ago. It did close 2.93%, which given the circumstances of PPI and everything coming out today, the broader market was selling off. It's kind of fair to assume that this was going to happen. And after hours, though, it is going up 0.38%. So it did have a nice push above that conveniently 50 cent mark. So once again, I'm going to go over everything. There was news that came out kind of midway throughout the day, and that was Faraday Future delivers a FF91 2.0 to its first retail user. So they actually did post this as well on social media. It was done this morning, so kind of a little bit more of a discrepancy. And I actually did look. It looks like this actually did come out several days ago. So just by doing a vague search of that individual, the retail investor's name, it looks like it came out a couple days ago, like three days ago. So obviously a little bit more of a delay in that but still regardless i think this is very good as i've said in the past a lot of people get into faraday because of the squeeze aspect not necessarily because of the operational updates so this actually shows they're kind of doing something obviously not to the same degree where a lot of investors would truly like but Given the circumstances of where Faraday's at, uh, obviously this is baby steps. So I think this is hopefully a move in the right direction. And based on their last video, they did say that they plan on at least delivering one every single month. So as long as they kind of hit that mark, I feel like at least they should be moving in the right direction, but who knows? We'll just have to wait and see. When it comes down to shorts, a very interesting day with shorts. So today they did increase 1.28 million shares, still on the threshold list, as I've said, been on there since May the 9th consecutively, so it's always fun for that. 17.92% of the free float is being shorted, and I'm sure a lot of you might be wondering, hey, your last update it actually showed 21%. What the hell happened? I'm going to break that down for you exactly what did happen. So you can kind of see this blue dotted line right here. That was yesterday. So when I did my video, I think it was roughly around here. So at the time they were increasing, I think like 20 million shares or something like that. But regardless, quite a lot, which put it around that 21% range. You can kind of see after hours, this is where at its peak, they were increasing 48 million shares. And then randomly during the last, uh, was it 20 minutes or something like that? This is where they just dumped everything. So it went from 44 million to 12 million. So they did return quite a lot. And thus, that's why it did get down to now that 17.92%. So just so you're aware, but on a side note though, 78 million shares overall are being shorted. So definitely shorts are playing around with Faraday. Um, so it's a very big psychological game. And that's actually a good transition point into why 50 cents is important. So for instance, if you're looking on the actual chart itself, just generally whole numbers, not even just Faraday, but every stock out there, whole numbers is a very big support slash resistance in either direction. Given the circumstances of where Faraday's at, obviously that leaves 50 cents being a very strong support. And below that, obviously I think the last one was roughly like 15 cents or 20 cents. So it kind of does represent a free fall, if that kind of makes sense. Um, obviously that might be changed given uh, support levels and everything like that, but 50 cents is important. And plus, when it comes down to Faraday, it's kind of a twofold event. So it's more of a psychological thing. And then secondly, options. So options do play a very big part because market makers and shorts, they do not want any stock to close above strike levels, especially when there is a lot in open interest. So what they would rather do is try to suppress the stock below that strike price, then that way those options get kind of expired worthless versus if it closes in the money, then the market makers have to go to the open market to actually buy those shares to cover those options. Market makers don't want to do that. This is why they'd rather just short it. So tomorrow being Friday, you are going to see another battle at that 50 cent strike price. So it did have a nice push near the tail end of the day. Like I said, a lot of good volume, but 
tomorrow will be D-Day, if that kind of makes sense. And more specifically, as I mentioned in my video yesterday, next week is kind of like, in my opinion, kind of like a do or die, because you do see the volume on the options for June the 21st, absolutely insanely high. So when it comes down to that, that offers a very good opportunity for a gamma squeeze. And obviously through that would be a short squeeze. So I think it goes all hand in hand. So yeah, very interesting stuff. Needless to say, once again, it's going to be a very big battle. Faraday most likely will not easily close at 50 cents or above 50 cents. So you'll need to see a lot of buying coming from hopefully institutions and retail. So once again, it's going to be that fun time period. You did see a good amount of transactions over the last several trading days coming from institutions and most likely at least the ones done today. So the two transactions above $100,000 were attributed to this. So institutions like to buy based on operational updates rather than momentum stocks and stuff like that. I think most of the entities out there like to short momentum plays rather than anything. So I think this and hopefully Faraday does continue this operational updates um, more often than not, because then you might see a lot more institutions willing to buy and back Faraday, making even stronger support levels allowing Faraday to go up so much higher. So let me know your thoughts on Faraday. Uh, so obviously, like I mentioned, 50 cents is kind of important to Faraday, but even worst case scenario, if it does dip below 50 cents, the worst thing that does happen is just a lot of these options just expire worthless. So it's not the end all be all is good to have, but still uh, obviously kind of have to pick your battles, right? When it comes down to Faraday giving good operational updates, I think that might be preferred rather than anything because then that does show institutions will actually be buying Faraday up and thus causing even more buying pressure and just a, a nice push higher. So once again, let me know your thoughts on that. Do you think 50 cents is important or do you think it's not? What's your viewpoint? One final thing, take advantage of this promo. Simply sign up for a new account, throw $100 at it and they give you five free stocks. Each stock is valued up to $2,000. Take advantage of this, link in the description below and also the comments. With all that said, appreciate all of you watching.